How's it? Oh, wait, Jamie, can we get some lights? Guys, we got a new set. This is season two, episode one of Knife Banner. Let's talk some knives. Let's go! How's it going guys? And welcome to season two, episode one of Knife Banner. Welcome to the big leagues. We've got a ton of new stuff, a ton of exciting stuff. And today we will be talking about the best bang for your buck knives that we have at bladishq.com. Kurt, what's the first one on the table? Show me the money! We got this Gerber. This Gerber multi-tool. It's called the Gerber Dime. And there's a good reason why it's called the Dime. Because there's 10 cents in a dime. And there's 10 tools in the Gerber Dime. There we go. It's a great one, guys. It has all your basic tools, scissors, knives, all the things. Uh, you, whether you put it in your pocket or on a keychain, this thing's solid. $14.99. $14.99. So that's why this thing is on best bang for your buck. Because boy, it's a good little tool for $14.99. It's $14. banging for your buck. All right, so next up, uh, we have got the Cold Steel Pro Lite Tonto. Uh, this has got a GFN handle, uh, 4116 blade steel. Uh, super impressive back lock. As you guys know, Cold Steel is known for their incredible locking mechanisms. And then, you know, just a nice little uh, two-way reversible pocket clip there. And, uh, you know, just everything you expect from a nice inexpensive Cold Steel. This thing goes for $21.99 on the website. And uh, in the, the tactical video that we did, a lot of you guys wanted to see more Cold Steel. So, your wish is our command. Here's a little bit of Cold Steel action. I still struggle with that lock. Yeah. Uh, nah, this all is the Cold Steel locks. No, that's because they're meant to not cut your hand off. Um, and when you're talking best bang for your buck, Cold Steel has a ton of entries that are That's incredible true. knives for the money. Um, yeah, what do we got next? We got this CRKT Squid, and this was a suggestion by Ben. Okay, guys, so I wanted to put it, we, we, we wanted to put a couple knives on the table that were maybe a little unexpected, something you haven't seen in a while. Um, I personally love the PLR a ton. You guys know that I love right. the PLR a ton. Kurt likes the PLR. We all like the PLR, right? Uh, so we were trying to pick a different one, and Ben's like, squid. The squid's on par with the PLR. Let me know in the comments. <laughs> Who do you guys side with here? Because I actually like the PLR a little bit better than the squid. I mean, the squid's good. It's it, a good knife. Don't get me wrong. And what, is, what does it go for? Uh, look like $23.95. $23.95. It's a great knife for $23.95, but man, I would just bump up a couple more bucks and get that PLR. So yes. let us know in the comments. What, what, what do you think? PLR, squid. Let us know. <laughs> it's cute though. I it's like a cute it. little guy. <laughs> what else we got? All right, uh, there's no way that we can talk about best bang for your buck knives without talking about the Boker Kalashnikov. Um, you guys have seen it a ton. We love these things. I picked a really nice plain Jane one just to show off the, the simple, elegant beauty of the Boker Kalashnikov. Absolutely. <laughs> you got al aluminum handles, obviously that sweet automatic action, uh, nice deep carry pocket clip. And as you guys know, these things come in every flavor under the sun. We've got the Kalashnikov. We've got the different colored bladed ones. We had the, uh, the red Black bladed Widow. one. We had the green bladed, the blue bladed. We'll pop a couple up on the screen so you guys can see a bunch of these things. Yeah. And uh, these things go for right around $39.95 on the website. And I heard there is a purple one in the works. This party's over. Don't, so guys, you did don't, it. Don't you lie to you me. You did it. Hopefully it's ready for September 20th. You know what I mean? We'll take it down to Nevada on September 20th. Oh, that yeah. You gotta have that purple blade. We'll see you guys there. We'll see you guys there. <laughs> Great Area 51. All right. Um, all right. This next one we've got is the Victorinox. This is the Compact. Compact? And I know and this. This is in your pocket all the time. This knife has been in my pocket since we did the Victorinox video. So if you guys haven't watched that really? video, go back and check it out. Um, this has not left my pocket. So we could not do a best bang for your buck without tell me, throwing the compact in. Tell me why. Okay, so a lot of things with the compact that I love about it. Um, obviously you get a plain blade, you get some scissors, um, but I use the flathead screwdriver as a pry bar a ton because it has a bottle opener on it. I was able to take the bottle opener off my keychain, so I don't have a bottle opener on my keychain nice. anymore. Um, I have a gap in one of my back teeth, so I actually use the toothpick all the time. Nice. <laughs> this is another reason I love it. Um, I wear glasses and it has this amazing little glasses wrench built into that the corkscrew. Cool. I was I was curious about that. And then uh, something that I've used a handful of times to pick out slivers out of my hand and things like that, there's a little pin, like an actual metal pin built into the scales. And I've used it to reset my phone. I Are used it serious? to dig out slivers. Dude, I'm telling you, this thing is 
everything that you need in your pocket. And when you're talking about best bang for your buck, you can't beat this thing. Doesn't it also have a pen? Yeah, oh yeah, and it has a pen in it. And I always have a pen in my pocket, but now I'm like never without a pen because I got that too. The little pen's cold. Dude, I'm telling you guys, get yourself a Victorinox Compact. They're incredible. It's, it's <laughs> a sweet knife. And what do they go for? Uh, we can grab those for right around $43. $43 for all that. Yep. You gotta get one, I'm telling you, you gotta Zach get one. Zach loves it uh, all the time. <laughs> he's like, we always check pockets and he's always pulling that thing out. Yeah. I'm like, I don't get it. It's in my pocket right now. <laughs> all right, so next up we have the Spyderco Tenacious. You guys know the Tenacious, but when we're talking best bang for your buck knives, the Spyderco Tenacious has got to be there. This knife is a amazing beater knife, second knife, loner knife, or your primary knife. It's just that good, you can use it for anything. Um, it's got the 8CR 13MOV blade, which is exactly what you expect for a knife right around 47, 50, 40, 47, 48 bucks on the website. Um, G10 scales, and then a four-way reversible pocket clip on the Tenacious. Uh, and same thing with the Tenacious is with the Kalashnikov. It comes in a bunch of different styles and stuff, right. so pick the one you like the best. It's true, it's a good knife. All right, guys, we had to throw an OTF up there. Yeah, if we're gonna talk budget, or best bang for your buck knives, we're trying to represent as many as we can, and you gotta have an OTF. Right. So we've got the AKC F16, and just like a lot of these other knives we've been talking about, tons of different colors, tons of different blade, coated, coated blades, black yeah. blades, all sorts of stuff. And to be honest, I mean, I use my recon a lot, yeah. but. Dude, and your recon is sweet, your recon is, Obviously, it's much pretty sweet. It's much better than the AKC, but here's the thing, guys. If I'm buying an OTF, I'm literally buying it to fire it over and over again just for fun. Oh, yeah. Like, that's it's why I'm buying You guys have seen my, I actually have an F16. You guys have seen my F16. It's just a fun knife to have. You can use it for reals, but it's just fun to play with. It's fun to pull out, show people. And uh, what was this thing go for? 50 bucks. 50 bucks. 50 Double bucks. action OTF that you know was going to work. And, uh, you know, it's been in my pocket, so the thing's not going to fall apart. Super great knife for for 50 bucks. I, I have one. Yeah, and now if you're talking real OTFs, I would have to say that the Microtech Ultratech, if you're talking a, a real OTF, the Microtech Ultratech is honestly probably your best bang for your buck, because um, it, it's it's the blueprint of what an OTF knife should be, right? right. Guardian Tactical's coming up on those heels, yep. but Microtech Ultratech, if you're looking for a real OTF, you know, uh, a hardcore OTF, uh, Microtech Ultratech for sure. All right, guys, uh, so as part of the new knife banner setup that we have going on, we're gonna be doing awesome cut tests, field tests, bushcrafting, all sorts of fun stuff. And uh, this time, we actually went on a knife hunt. Dude, I can't believe you didn't take me hunting with you. I always miss out, and Zach always goes on cool adventures, <laughs> but I heard he might have something for us. Yeah, I, I not only did I catch the mythical mermaid, I brought something back for all of you guys out there. Let me let me get my handkerchief out here. Uh, these are very rare, so uh, you know, you just know these came at great cost. Guys, we have <laughs> SD Classic Mermaids on the website right now, 1995. If you don't already have the Boker Mermaid, get yourself a Boker Mermaid, and then get yourself an SD Classic Mermaid to uh, Blade HQ exclusive to put on the old keychain. Dude, if I lick it, can I keep it? Sure. Like, it's that, mine. That one's Kurt's, guys. Sorry, we're down one. We're down one. Don't worry, I have more than this. Uh, oh, I brought mine. back a bunch. So <laughs> check out the website, guys. It'll be good. Um, so as part of some new stuff that we're doing here, season two for Knife Banner, uh, we're gonna have a little moment for our product guys to come on and tell you guys about some awesome product that sometimes doesn't fit the specific knife banner we're doing. Um, so 
Welcome to Sales and Grails. Hey guys, this is uh, Justin. He works in receiving. Uh, he's also a product guru and he's brought you guys some special stuff. All right, so what I've brought for you guys today is I've got the uh, Kershaw barge. This thing is a pry tool. Look at that pry bar it's got on Holy there. Holy crap, that thing is massive. <laughs> Dang. So that guy's going for $12.99 on the website right now. Ooh. Just another great knife to add to this collection. And then we've got two Alambic knives. We've got this guy, the Busker. It's a front flipper. And the cool thing about both of these I'm featuring today is they've got the Damistel, which is the first time they've done that. Oh, cool. So it's, it's really cool, really good for collectors. And then they got this one, which is my favorite. It's the Swish. The what? The Swish. Swish. <laughs> swish. <laughs> so I, I really like that one. Um, and uh, the the Busker eight ninety five. The Swish is seven ninety five. Cool. That's cool. All right, man. Well, we got you on camera. What's in your pocket? Um. So I've got the uh, Spyderco Military. I've been carrying this guy quite a bit lately. Ooh, I'll hold it. Yeah. There you go. And then I've also got my uh, BRS replicant that I've been carrying around. Justin nice. always has a bally, man. He's a flipper. So. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Dude, well, thanks for bringing these on. All right, thanks for having me, guys. Sweet. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's jump back into what's on the table. We're talking about best bang for your buck. That's right. And the next one up is a new one. Uh, it's from Civivi. It's called the Elementum, but I am willing to stake that this is for sure gonna become a classic best bang for your buck knife. And the reason is you got G10 scales, D2 blade, nice deep carry pocket clip, and since day one, I think Civivi launched last fall, about a right. year, about a year now, um, but last fall sometime. Um, since day one, Civivi has been putting out incredible knives. Now, if you guys have been watching Knife Banner, you know that in the past, they look a little gas station-y. Like, to be honest, they like some of the liners were weird colors, and you know we weren't a fan of the color schemes, but the knives have always been incredible. Right. And then they come out with something like the Elementum. Not only are they making incredible knives, but they're obviously listening. Um, this is just a great pocket knife, and uh, you know, it's just nice and thin, super great action, and uh, as you get with all Civivi's, perfect centering. You wanna know what I do like about it? I like that it's like, it's fairly simple. Come home to simple Rick. Yeah. Compared to the flashy, Yeah. you know, I like, I like a knife that's a little more just simple instead of, look at me. Yeah, so just really simple, great pocket knife, and it goes for like 50 bucks on the website. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, so pick one. yourself up an Elementum, that one's actually mine. I'm going to be taking it home after. <laughs> he, he licked it. Uh, yeah, I licked it earlier. It was off, off camera. <laughs> All right, guys. Up next, we got the Kaiser Beg Lighter Mini Beg Lighter. And this thing's great, guys. This thing, I personally, I feel like the full-size Beg Lighter is a little long and skinny for me. I like this small size. It, I've got medium hands. Fits good in my hand. It's kind of it's on, the, on the edge of maybe, uh, it might be a little too small. But with these Kaisers, you got super smooth action, great blade centering. Yeah, and the reason that the mini bag lighter here is this is a blade issue exclusive along with the mini Doman, but anything in the Kaiser Vanguard series, guys, is a best bang for your buck knife. So whether it's the regular bag lighter, the Doman, the mini Doman, the mini Sheepdog, uh, the, the Vanguard mini Sheepdog, doesn't matter what it is, you're getting great steel, great handle material, and just like with the Civivi, you're guaranteed to get an awesome knife. So mini mini bag lighter, great buy. Fifty five dollars. Yeah, fifty five dollars. Yeah, and it's a uh, one fifty four cm, right? One fifty four cm steel. There you go. All right. So next up is honestly might be the best bang for your buck knife on the table. Prove it. <laughs> I'll prove it right now, guys. So this is the Kershaw Link, and the proof is that's an M three ninety blade. And oh really? The price point is seventy nine ninety five on the website right now, dude. So M390 blade, full aluminum construction here. You know, it's got a nice beefy uh, liner lock and then, you know, just a, a classic Kershaw uh, two-way reversible pocket clip. Made in the USA, covered by Kershaw's amazing warranty. I mean, this knife legitimately might be the best bang for your buck knife on the table. Let us know. From what you guys have seen or what you're about to see, let us know which one is your favorite. This one's pretty incredible. Can I see it? Yeah, you can see it. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, the, man. Kershaw link. Just great. That thing is sweet. It's a sweet knife. That is awesome. All right, guys. Up next, we've got the SE4. Now, this thing is a tank. There are a lot of great best for your bang uh, 
fixed blades, right. right? Like we were debating, we're like, should we put a Mora in? Should we put the Gerber strong arm in? Like we really were having a hard time. And what it boiled down with this was, first off, it's a thick boy. Like this is a thick, you could beat this knife to death. This could be your only knife ever and it'll never be a problem. But on top of that, if it was a problem, Essie's warranty is incredible. It's a no questions asked warranty. Um, now this one comes without the sheath. You can get it with the sheath, without the sheath. What's the without the sheath price? Uh, without the sheath is 109. What, no, I think it's with the sheath is 109. Oh, with isn't the it? sheath is 109. Without is 86. 86. So if you uh, that want, was my bad. If you want to make your own leather sheath, go with the 86 dollars one. If you want one to come with, a, I think it's a nice Kydex sheath that they send out with it. Uh, get yourself a uh, the 109 one. But either way, because of the warranty, because of how thick the stock is, because of how tried and true these SEs are. That's why it won the best bang for the buck fixed blade. Let us know though, because I know this is pretty divisive for a lot of people. I know a lot of people would probably say the more robust. Um, and it almost made it, but the SE just inched out. I, I really like this one. I have an SE3 and I, I wish I probably would have got the four, but I didn't see that as an option when I, long time ago. <laughs> when when I bought you got it. it, yeah. But yeah. also made in the US. Made in the US. That's yeah. awesome. Another great reason. All right, um, no way we can talk about best bang for your buck knives without talking about the Benchmade. Uh, this is the mini grip. So the mini grip Tillion. So now with the update graded blade steel, so they all come with the CPM S30V steel. You get the G10 handle scales. <laughs> no. Are those G10 or FRN? Oh, on this one? Good question. Let me check. Let me check. They're, yeah, uh, these are polymer. They are a polymer scale. Gotcha. Thanks for catching that. Yeah, so these are a polymer curious. scale. I believe you can get in the G10, whether it's a regular grip or a mini right. grip. Um, and this one goes for 97.75. The cool thing is, is that a bunch of them have been discontinued, the ones that have the old D2 blade, and you can pick those up for even cheaper on the website. That's sweet. So, and then a lot, you know, we're talking about made in the USA, made in the USA, we're talking about great warranties. Um, you get the Life Sharp warranty with the bench. Right. All right, guys, last one up on the table is the Giant Mouse Iona. Uh, Zach, you know a lot about the Giant Mouse series. Yeah. Okay, so this one made it on the table for two reasons. First off, that's M390. Second off, it's just under 100 bucks. It's like $99 or something like that. And uh, you get the deep carry wire clip on this. You got the FRN handle scales. And what sets it apart from the Link, which we already showed, which was an incredible, like I said, probably the best bang for your buck on the table, is this is a really nice thin lightweight knife. It really um, is. So, you know, you get everything you want get with a giant mouse, great construction, great design. Um, and with this one, premium blade steel, and it's just really nice and light, goes in the pocket. I really like this knife. Plus, and so it had, it had to be it. Had giant be mouse it. is awesome. Yeah, they make it, some yeah. sweet. Yes, for Voxnes and Jan Zanso are just good dudes. Yep. So, I make agree. some really sweet stuff. Sweet. All right, so guys, uh, let us know what you guys think about the knives on the table. I am sure that we missed a bunch of your guys' favorite best bang for your buck knives. Let us know in the comments. We'll get in there. We'll go back and forth with you. We'll figure it all out. And uh, now as part of the new knife banner, uh, we have a fun little corner that we're calling the Collection Connection. All right, guys, so this is the Collection Connection. Goofy name, but we love it. And we actually need your help because uh, we don't have any content for this space yet. And so what we need you guys to do is on Instagram, use hashtag BHQ collection, submit your knife collection, submit your knife picks, uh, cool pictures, whatever you want. We'll go through it, pick our favorites, and then we'll show them here on Knife Banner and we'll give you guys a shout out. Uh, speaking of filling up this section, you guys might notice we've got some uh, new shelves on the wall here. If you guys wanna send in cool stuff, it Kurt's Vanna Whiting for us. If you guys wanna send in cool stuff, we'll put it on the shelves we'll give you guys a shout out. Now, like I mentioned with Knife Banner, we're gonna be doing some sort of a field test, cut test, something cool with the knives, every single Knife Banner. And to help us out with that, we actually have this thing we're calling the Wheel of Indecision because guys, it's hard to come up with these ideas every single time. And so we have Brendan from Customer Service. How's it going, dude? Good, how are you guys? And uh, good, man. And he is gonna spin the wheel for us. You guys can see all the amazing choices that we have. And uh, he's gonna spin the wheel and let's see what we're doing next week. Oh man, I'm excited. Throw it! Yes! We get to throw it. Yes, that was Kurt's suggestion. Now, yes. guys, this is Blade HQ, so you might see some of these things, you might think, eh, it seems a little boring. We're gonna we're gonna treat you right. Don't worry we'll about it. We'll spice it up. Alright, so since uh Brendan's here, Brendan, uh what do you got in your pockets, man? Yeah, so I have a Ultratech single edge, just non-dagger drop point. Perfect. And then I just bought today the White River M1 capper. Do you have one of those? No, but I uh, want yeah, one. Yeah, you want one and of those. It is probably the best EDC fixed blade that I've found. You guys actually featured the um, backpacker. 
Yeah, that's right. On one of your right. fixed league videos. Cool. So. Awesome. Well, yeah. thanks, man. Sweet. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Good one. All right, guys, this has been a ton of fun. Uh, we're really excited for season two of Knife Banner. Uh, please consider subscribing. Please consider hitting that notification bell. We have hundreds of knife videos on the channel, and we have tons of great videos coming your way. You stoked? Dude, I'm always stoked. <laughs> awesome. Okay, guys, we'll see you on the next one.